All right, what's up, everybody? Bonna family, I hope you are well. Happy holidays to one and all. I'm Mike Lindsley. This is an ML Sports Take, uh, basically recapping Loyola, Maryland, and St. Bonaventure. The Bonnies win it 84-71. to Loyola fo falls to 5-5. Five and five. The Bonnies are 8-1, and one, now with a 5-1 and one home mark, with obviously a huge game looming coming up here against UConn. We'll get to that in a second. Actually, UConn's playing West Virginia right now, so uh, you flip that on and see the ending um, in the last few minutes here. Uh, let's get into this game. Let's talk about this game, spend, you know, three, four, five minutes on this thing. Number one, I mean, you know, there's always a lot to unpack from a game, right? Good, bad, and ugly. I, I, I know they won by 13. I know they had a great second half, but something has to give here. These first halves of just not covering people on the three-point line and getting behind and all that sort of thing. It just keeps continuing. And I'm really hoping one of these days Bonaventure comes right out of the chute and, and plays a 40-minute game. But um, the good news was, of course, you know they were only down three at the, at the end of the first half. You're home. You know they're a second-half team. Mark Schmidt with the adjustments. And boy, did the Bonnies adjust. Uh, they outscored Loyola Maryland 46-30. to in the second half, and I thought there were a few reasons for it. Number one, great job of mixing up defenses by Mark Schmidt. The matchup zone, uh, you know, kind of going in and out of that a little bit uh, was terrific stuff. They got out on some shooters. Other ones were left open, but Loyola didn't make those three-pointers as much as the first half. They were 12 of 29, though, from the floor for the game, which is 41.4%. Uh, the Bonnies were 7 of 19 for 36.8%. Um, but I thought the defense was really, really good in terms of the matchup zone and all the rest. Another big reason for the Bonnies winning is, very simply put, Jalen Attaway and Jaron Holmes are becoming uh, automatics, you know, for this team. I mean, Holmes and Attaway can both shoot three-pointers. Tonight they were a three-for-five combined mark. Um you know they get into the lane, they go to the hoop. They're 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 so balanced and so controlled. Right when they get to that free throw line, that quick stop and pop, or sometimes Attaway would you know he'll catch and then kind of turn on 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 the, just the outside post and he'll make that short jumper from from corners. These two guys were sensational in this game. They had forty four total points. And what I love about these guys too is they're just rebounding like crazy uh, all over uh, the place. Five rebounds for Attaway, four for Holmes. Oh, by the way, Jaron Holmes, nine assists tonight as the point guard filling in again for Kyle Lofton. Speaking of Kyle Lofton, um, it looked as though uh, no crutches tonight, right? I, I saw on Twitter. Uh, and then uh, there's a rumor that he's going to try to get back for UConn, but we'll see if that happens. You know, the Bonnies only got four points out of their bench tonight, uh, Brown and Koulibaly. Uh, I thought Kadri Adams was really good in this game, man. I mean, I thought he really played some good defense and got after it. Um, uh, I, I thought Oshun, Oshun E, again, I, I just wish this guy, you know, inside, if they could just get a little bit more from him, you know, those still, t and I shot four, eight from the floor. It wasn't, you know, terrible. It was a 50% game, but I'd like to see him get 10, 11, 12 touches and make six or seven of those things changes the game. Plus you have that defensive uh, presence there. He had two blocks. He had a steal. He did pick up seven rebounds. So Oshun, Oshuni was actually uh, a real, you know, factor on both ends. I just think offensively, there's just a little bit missing there uh, from him. Having said that, if you only get eight from Oshun and you get 44 from Hedaway and Holmes, whew, that is a major one-two punch right now for St. Bonaventure. So good win tonight for the Bonnies. They held firm. They held uh, home court. And uh, now they uh, basically have one of the toughest tests of the season uh, for sure. I'm sure that there's a lot of Bon alum, uh, alumni going to this thing this Saturday. It'll be an unbelievable atmosphere in Newark against number 15 UConn. That's a 3.30 start on ESPN2. So huge national exposure again for the Bonnies. I'm Mike Lindsley, ML Sports Take here with a recap of the Bonnies beating Loyola Maryland, all brought to you by Stanley Law Offices, Bryant and Stratton College of Syracuse, and our terrific, terrific friends at the Syracuse Fitness Store. If you're in and around Central New York, you Bono alums, so how do you live uh, in Central New York? Go stop by Erie Boulevard. They've got all your workout equipment and holiday gift cards as well. Go Bonnas, as I always tell you, enjoy the games.